To head the American Expeditionary Force, President Wilson selects General John J. Blackjack Pershing, a tough career soldier who had led the army that pursued Pancho Villa into Mexico in 1916. In June 1917, the first 15,000 American doughboys arrive in France, just in time to join the French and English in defense against a massive German offensive. On the Eastern Front, Germany pounds Russia into submission. In March 1917, the Russian monarchy collapses. Eight months later, promising peace, land, and bread, Bolshevik revolutionaries led by Vladimir Lenin take control of the world's largest nation and establish the world's first communist government. The new Russian government then pulls out of the war and signs the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk with Germany on March 3, 1918. Concentrating all its forces on the Western Front, the Germans in March 1918 launch a major offense and by the end of May advance within 50 miles of Paris. American soldiers see their first action helping the French repel the Germans in the battles of Chateau Thierry and Belleau Wood. In mid-July, U.S. soldiers help spearhead a counteroffensive that drives back the Germans to their final defensive stand at the Meuse-Argonne Forest. Fresh U.S. troops and supplies turn the tide. By October, demoralized and out of supplies, Germany calls for peace. By the time it's over, the Great War claims the lives of 8 million soldiers and close to 7 million civilians. During the 18 months of the United States' involvement, close to 51,000 American servicemen are killed in action. Another 60,000 die from other causes, mainly an influenza pandemic that sweeps the world in 1918, killing a half million American civilians and close to 20 million people worldwide.